what's going on guys welcome back to the channel on today's video we have a cart that i just picked up actually i picked it up a while back it's a little easy go here we'll go over it here in just a minute i don't know what's wrong with it it may run just fine it may not but i picked it up when i picked up those i think it was i bought 13 golf carts or 14 i can't remember but i think i you know all in it was like three grand or something like that for all of those golf carts from the uh, golf cart store this year i've been fixing them and flipping them and whatever but let's look at this one right here see what the deal is and let's get started on it all right first thing we know is a little easy go and they're saying it's a 2004 one of the first things we notice is it is a 99 and a is a 2001 and a half up because the steering column is bolted to the front axle. Somebody's got some fancy LEDs there. It's got a little flip shield on there. Looks to be in decent shape. The seat that is on it looks to be for a center pod seat for a limo because it doesn't come all the way back here. But I had another one in storage, so I went ahead and grabbed that while we were uh, picking this right here up the other day dash pretty much all stock four bolt steering a little switch here it is a series cart and it is a 36 volt cart so there's the batteries you can also see there's a sticker back here but the reason you can't see the sticker until what year it is is because somebody has put in two by fours there on the battery tray. The battery tray might be in pretty bad shape, but there's the batteries here. It looks like they are DO, so January, February, March, April, April of 2020. So these are COVID batteries here. Seat back, got a little back seat. Doesn't look bad on it. Um, the only thing about the back seat is this right here we have a seat back but if you look back here these two are fine and these two the bolts broke off in them i wonder if we can extract those somehow the back bumper looks to be cracked back here on the passenger side it's not bad a little touch up spray paint if we even go that far with it it's just a little series cart if we can get it running, we might just flip it. So when I went to get it, they had it sold to someone else. I guess he didn't pick it up or whatever in time. And they sold it to me. They put my name on it. I paid a hundred bucks for this. I don't know if it runs or not. I could have a bunch of junk. I thought the frame rails looked pretty good on it. So I just took a chance. I have another one as well, but it's a DCS easy go and I've already robbed some parts off of it for another build or another cart. We might just do something with that DCS, but this right here is a little TXT 36 volt series cart. And with that being said, this is probably the second video since my hiatus from YouTube for a month long. And I got something else in the shop I started working on, but I'm gonna probably move that out the way and let's get started on this. This might be as simple as replacing batteries and it runs this might be you know it might have a blown motor or, or a bad motor or a bad controller or solenoid or whatever but it is what it is these are some scrap batteries i don't know what you guys do with batteries but i take these things to the scrap metal yard and they give you about 15 16 dollars a piece for them and i just keep saving them up over a course of time and i carry them when i have about 12 to 15 batteries but Anyways, I'm gonna quit talking. Let's get this right here into the shop and start working. All right, so I'm pretty sure that these batteries in here are shot. They're 2020 batteries. They're four and a half years old. But for the purpose of the video, let's maybe check that out and see. 2.24. 2.65, 2.35, I think, 1.84, and 
14 volts. So we got enough to power on the radio, but these are no good. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get these right here out of here. Let's remove the wood underneath to see if the base is okay or why they put that wood there. Maybe they put that there for a reason. I don't know if you guys can see the rot, but there's rot right there. They're connected. I don't know if they glued them or what. That battery tray is junk. All right, so this is what we have here. We have three different 12 volt lithium batteries I've had and I haven't been using them. They've just been collecting dust. And let's check the voltage of these, make sure we're good. We're at 13.30 volts. We have a enjoy bot. We have 13.26 volts and we have a scenarius. We're at 13.26 volts. So pack voltage should be 39.8 volts. Should be plenty to check this thing to see if we have any movement or not. We might have movement, we might not. Um, only one way to tell. Let's put this back on, I reckon. For the time being, it is on. One way. We have solenoid clicking. Looks like we don't have anything. Let's double check the reed switch, make sure that's good. And we're getting power there as well. So we're getting 39.8 volts here. So the reed switch is working, but we're not getting any type of juice. All right, so I've got this idea. If you don't have a good connection, it won't go. The solenoid's clicking, but I wonder if the FNR switch or the FNR mechanism is dirty. If it's dirty and it's not making good connection, then we could possibly not have it running. Well, you see it didn't run. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend the next three or four minutes. I'm going to just put you on time lapse real quick. And I'm going to rock this right here, F and R switch back and forth a bunch to try to clean it off. This is all I'm going to do. So I'm going to put you guys on time lapse. And I'm going to see if this right here will clean anything. And then we're going to go to town. Fifty. All right, so if you were looking at my mouth, I was counting. I did 50 from forward to reverse. So one, two, three, four, five. I don't want to take anything apart if I don't have to. Let's see if that made any kind of a difference. That's just something you can do. I just turned the key on. Um, Forward is that way. Oh. <laughs> it never fails. I love it when it, something works. Reverse. No reverse. So we have forward.
I wonder if the FNR switch got dirty over time because this, this card is kind of dirty and it's not making a good connection. I don't know, but it does run Ford. So that lets me know that the motor's good, the controller's good, the solenoid's good, the ITS in the floor is good, the switch in the floor is good, the key switch is good, the read switch in the charge receptacle is good, but we don't have reverse connection. So either we do have a bad FNR mechanism or it's just not making a good connection just yet. Now I do have some contact cleaner. We could spray that on here and see if that would help or we might have to replace this right here altogether. But we do have Ford. I wonder if we drive a, a little while in Ford, if we put it in reverse, if it will work. Reverse still doesn't want to work. I wonder if we can get it to come around. Ford still works and it jolts because well, we're on lithium and it's a little bit higher voltage than your regular lead acid uh, batteries. So yeah, um, and these aren't even charged either. All right, so we've got some little bit more progress going on here. I'll remove this right here cover away from the top of the FNR uh, mechanism and um, this plate here. Well, the whole FNR mechanism there. The buzzer is unhooked. See that one wire there? I just hooked it up, but nothing's happening. And what I've been doing is I've been taking the FNR lever, moving it back and forth, and spraying some of this gunk. This is um, contact cleaner in there. And by doing that, you see, um, you see like that top um, contact right there on the FNR. Well, if we move this right here back and forth, it changes. I know you can't see it because of the light there. Let's see if we can do it right here. Okay, see that? So I've been moving it back and forth, spraying it with contact cleaner. Well, and it goes in reverse now. So with that being said, which is no big deal, it's not really heavy here. Um, the contact cleaner did help us break up the dirt that's in this FNR mechanism. So, so far I have not had to take anything apart at all. And we have a running golf cart. So if you are able to get like a cart that you might think has some bad connections, I would definitely recommend some contact cleaner to help you. If you don't have contact cleaner, I've often used brake parts cleaner in the past as well. Uh, just get something non-flammable just in case anything sparks. You wouldn't want any uh, action happening. But other than that, we have Ford and we have reverse. I, like I said earlier, I connected that little wire down there back to the buzzer. It does not work. So uh, we don't have a buzzer on this cart, but there we go. We have us a running cart with these three lithium batteries. And I don't know if it's worth you know, trying to weld in a battery box and all of this, I'm just putting more work in here for this little cart. If we're just gonna offer it for like 1500 or a little bit more, but I don't know, this right here is kind of a kind of a neat thing. You know what I mean? We got it running. It didn't take, you know, much other than batteries and we had to work the F and R mechanism um, back and forth to clear the contact. So if anything, I would just say, Picking up some of this contact cleaner, be sure all the mechanisms are touching properly because that was the only thing that was wrong with this right here cart. All right guys, so here she is. It runs fine forward and reverse. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is this rear seat here. I don't like the way that looks, but for what we had versus what it had on it when we got it, it looks a lot better. Plus these are here kind of match. These right here kind of match. It's not a expensive golf cart by any means. You know, I think we had, like I said, we got 50 bucks in it. I dropped three 12 volt batteries in there, lithium. Not sure if they're gonna stay in there or not. I have a buddy I hit up and he might be swinging by here, picking it up, maybe picking it up without the batteries in it. So 
with that being said we're going to end this right here one of the reasons we're going to end it it's been raining on and off today and it's dark blue that way and it's lighter this right here way so i believe we're going to about to get some more rain uh, that's next to the lake in the kind of that direction there and we're only about two miles away from the lake here and then we're about one mile this right here way from the river anyways there it is we got it running uh that seat is just ugly as it can be i don't like it but i'm not gonna put any more money in this or any more time really those headlights do work on the front i did test them but other than that she's a beaut clark that's uh on the way out i'll kind of show you this right here running it runs fine and forward and reverse tower spins so we are doing much better oh yeah you can see where i spun the tire right there these little series txts and series golf carts they really like the lithium power runs good got a little windshield back seat brakes work pretty good on it Still slide them around like when we were kids. But there she is. Appreciate you watching today's video. I will return very soon. Until next time, we'll see y'all later.